But I think we can all remember a recent example of Taiwan demonstrating its resolve and unity in the face of bullying. Bullying that quickly backfired. 白起凤梨，力挺台湾。美国在台协会处长厉英杰在卸任之前举办线上告别演说，一讲就讲了二十二分钟。他认为，美台关系在过去十年中的成长与进展不容小觑，也不该被忽视。Having served at embassies and consulates around the world, it is truly a rare and special relationship that grows so dramatically year after year, that does not stagnate and never seems to reverse course. 回顾过去三年在台政绩，林英杰认为美台在安全合作上有进展。在他任内，美国对台军售已超过一百六十九亿美元。今年三月还签署加强海巡合作 MOU， 双方在商业关系也有成长。不仅举办美台经济繁荣伙伴对话，还跟台湾贸协发表巩固供应链联合声明。而台湾在全球社会的角色也有突破，包括举办印太民主治理资商会议，与台湾外交部共同成立 GCTF 全球合作暨训练架构。目前 GCTF 也和欧盟、澳洲、英国等国家轮流共同举办，另外也增进美台人民的关系。A growing number of nations realize how important it is to have a productive partner like Taiwan, and how important it is to resist the PRC's efforts to politicize issues like global health, counterterrorism, civil aviation, and fighting international crime. 林英杰有信心。在拜登政府之下，美台的合作模式还会延续下去。That as Taiwan is tested again and again in the future, Taiwan will continue to come together and show the world its strength, its resilience, and its resolve. Thank you very much. 新唐人亚太电视池千里、叶云茹，台湾台北采访报道。